kind of same deal. Sometimes they bind, sometimes they don't. Cut. Okay guys, we've got a bit of a come clean here. Um, you guys might have noticed in that last clip that uh, I absolutely destroyed this this uh, bolt, Allen key bolt fixing screw here. Uh, there's a couple of reasons for that. You know, it was actually, the plate was actually tight enough. You know, I thought I'd just edit it out, this and that, whatever, but I just thought I'd take this, uh, use this to be able to show some uh, some fix-ups or, or problem-solving things that we that we have to come across. You know, no one's perfect. This that someone's going to wreck a screw or not be able to get it out or, or what have you. I just wanted to give an example. Th this is what this is what we send out in the box. Okay. Now look, to be perfectly honest with you, this this is a this is an in case of emergency. You know, um, if you if you find that the the apprentice has raided your tool bike bag, and you haven't got a you haven't got a decent Allen Allen key Allen wrench in your bag, or you can't find it, or you know what happens, everything things get lost, whatever. This is this is in case of an emergency. But realistically, everyone, every every professional should understand the the importance of having uh, good quality tools. Okay, so. You know, this this is a reasonable quality, but you know what happens? It wears out. So, you know, is someone that's putting a lot of these hinges on and it's their profession to put up, to, to build pool fences or, or put hinges on glass doors, gates, what have you. It's, I think it's imperative and it should be, you know, well and truly understood that these wear out, you know. The, I, would, I would imagine a, a 15, 20 dollar tool, good quality tool, is probably going to last you three months before it's potentially going to be worn out a little bit here and going to go bang and and strip it, you know, so I would, uh, I, I just wanted to take a, take this opportunity to be able to, um, you know, just, just let everybody know that it's important to have good quality tools, the better the, the better the tool is, the less likely uh, you're going you're gonna to damage things. And for guys who are inexperienced or haven't, haven't done it much, whether it's young guys or apprentices or what have you, it's all about keeping the pressure in square into, into the bolt. Okay, so as, as soon as you start doing, doing this and tightening on angles, that's when you strip it, that's when you can't get it out. Now, I was going to leave that on, but as you could see, the focus was absolutely terrible, and you know, so I'm going to have to shoot that again. So I have to take this off anyway. So I want to show you exactly what we do if you need to take it off. And you know, it's painful, but um, the quicker you can do it, and the and the the um, the easier it is to be able to get your hands on the right uh, tools to be able to get it off in your in your toolkit, the better. So I would encourage everybody to. To, uh, to at least have a, a, an 8 to 10 mil or I think that's 3 8 uh, mil drill bit uh, nice and sharp in their toolkit so if, if something like this happens you just drill it out okay so I'll show you how I'll show you how we drill it out you might want to turn it down Slow. Don't go too fast, otherwise you burn out the tip of your drill bit, you won't have another one, you won't be able to get it out again, and you've got a trip to the hardware. I know. 
but on it blah 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 yeah realistically all up uh, two minute fix up when you first do it it's like uh, here we go it's gonna take forever but if you've got the right tools you drill it out boom two minutes it's done you're out of there okay 